structural organization in animals earthworm cockroach and frog earthworm a reddish brown terrestrial invertebrate the earthworm inhabits the upper layer of the moist soil they live in burrows made by boring and swallowing the soil during daytime Peritema and Lumbricus are the common Indian earthworms. Morphology: The body of the earthworm are long, cylindrical, and is divided into more than hundred short segments, which are similar. A dark median mid-dorsal line is marked on the dorsal surface along the longitudinal axis of the body. The presence of genital openings distinguishes the ventral surface. Mouth is present on the anterior end and the prostomium is a lobe serves as a covering for the mouth. The prostomium which acts as a wedge to force open cracks in the soil into which the earthworm may crawl and it is sensory in function. The mouth is present in the first body segment called the peristomium. Segments 14 to 16 in the mature uh, worm are covered by clitellum, which is a prominent dark band of glandular tissue. The body of the earthworm is divisible into three prominent regions, namely preclitellar, clitellar, and postclitellar segments. On the ventrolateral sides of the intersegmental grooves, four pairs of spermathecal apertures are situated, that is, fifth to ninth segments. In the mid-ventral line of 14th segment, a single female genital pore is present. On the ventrolateral sides of the 18th segment, a pair of male genital pores are present. Nephridiopores are the numerous minute pores which open on the surface of the body. Except the first, last and clitellum, in each body segment, there are rows of S-shaped yes setae embedded in the epidermal pits in the middle of each segment. Setae can be retracted or extended and their principal role is in locomotion. Anatomy a thin non-cellular cuticle is covered externally on the body wall of the earthworm below which is the epidermis, two muscle layers and an innermost coelomic epithelium. Secretory gland cells are present in the epidermis which is made up of a single layer of columnar epithelial cells. A straight tube, the elementary canal, runs between first to last segment of the body. Into the buccal cavity opens a terminal mouth which leads into muscular pharynx. Into the muscular gizzard continues the esophagus which is a small narrow tube. It helps in decaying leaves and grinding the soil particles etc. Stomach extends from segment 9 to 14. Decaying leaves and organic matter mixed with soil is the food of the earthworm. In the stomach is present the calciferous glands which neutralize the humic acid present in humus. From the 15th segment onwards starts the intestine and continues till the last segment. On the 26th segment, a pair of short and conical intestinal CK project from the intestine. Internal median fold of dorsal wall called tiflosole is present in the intestine between segments 26 to 35 which is one of the characteristic features of the earthworm. In the intestine this increases the effective area of absorption. A small rounded aperture called anus is in the elementary canal opens to the exterior. The organic rich soil which is ingested passes through the digestive tract where digestive enzymes break down complex food into smaller absorbable units. Through intestinal membranes, the, these simpler molecules are absorbed and are utilized. The blood vascular system consists of blood vessels, capillaries and heart and is of a closed type. Blood is confined to the heart and blood vessels due to a closed type of a circulatory system.
the blood circulates in one direction due to contractions the gut nerve cord and the body wall are supplied with smaller blood vessels on the fourth fifth and sixth segments blood glands are present blood cells and hemoglobin they produce are dissolved in blood plasma in nature blood cells are phagocytic specialized breathing devices are present in earthworm through moist body surface and into their blood stream respiratory exchange takes place segmentally arranged coiled tubes called nephridia occur as the excretory organs there are three types of nephridia septal nephridia on both the sides septal nephridia are present in the intersegmental septa of 50 segment to the last that open into intestine integumentary nephridia they are attached to the lining of the body wall of segment 3 to the last that open on the body surface and pharyngeal nephridia in the fourth fifth and sixth segments are present three pairs of tufts of pharyngeal nephridia basically these different types of nephridia are similar in structure the volume and composition of the body fluids are regulated by nephridia from coelomic chamber a nephridium starts out as a funnel that collects excess fluid connected to the funnel is a tubular part of the nephridium which delivers the waste through a pore to the surface in the body wall into the digestive tube basically arranged segment wise on the ventral paired nerve cord is the nervous system represented by ganglia in the anterior region the nerve cord bifurcates encircling the pharynx laterally and dorsally joins the cerebral ganglia to form a nerve ring along with other nerves in the ring the cerebral ganglia command muscular responses of the body as well as integrate sensory input to distinguish the light intensities and to feel the vibrations in the ground the sensory system possesses light and touch sensitive organs but does not have eyes to react to chemical stimuli the worms have specialized chemoreceptors on the anterior part of the worm these sense organs are located the testes and ovaries in the earthworm are present in the same individual and is called a hermaphrodite in the 10th and 11th segments are present two pairs of testes to the 18th segment their vast differentia run up where they join the prostatic duct one pair each in the 17th and 19th segments two pairs of accessory glands are present on the ventrolateral side of the 18th segment the common prostate and spermatic duct opens to the exterior by a pair of male genital pores in the 6th to 9th segments four pairs of sperma thecae are located during copulation they receive and store spermatozoa at the intersegmental septum of the 12th and 13th segments one pair of ovaries is attached beneath the ovaries which continue into oviduct ovarian funnels are present which join together and open on the ventral side on the 14th segment as a single median female genital pore between two worms during mating a mutual exchange of sperm occurs one worm has to find another worm and they mate opposite gonadal openings juxtaposing the exchanging packets of sperms called spermatophores in cocoons produced by the gland cells of clitellum mature sperm and egg cells and nutritive fluid are deposited within the cocoons which are deposited in soil fertilization and development occur within the cocoon the ova are fertilized by the sperm cells which then slips off the worm and is deposited in or on the soil the worm embryos are held by the cocoon each cocoon after about 3 weeks produces 2 to 20 baby worms with an average of 4 development is direct in earthworm that is larval stage is absent 
Earthworms are known as friends of farmers because they make the soil porous by making burrows in the soil which help in respiration and penetration of the developing plant roots. The method of enhancing fertility of soil by the earthworms is called vermicomposting. In game fishing, they are also used as bait. Cockroach Included in class Insecta of Phylum Arthropoda, cockroaches are brown or black-bodied animals. In tropical regions, cockroaches have also been reported to be bright yellow, red and green colored. The size of the cockroaches ranges from 1 fourth inch to 3 inches and they have legs, long antennae and flat extension of the upper body wall that conceals head. They live in damp places throughout the world and are nocturnal omnivores. They have become residents of human homes and thus are vectors of several diseases and are serious pests. Morphology the adults of Periplaneta americana, the common species of cockroach, are about 34 to 53 mm long and in males, the wings extend beyond the tip of the abdomen. The body is segmented in the cockroach and are divided into three distinct regions, head, thorax and abdomen. A hard chitinous exoskeleton covers the entire body. Exoskeleton has hardened plates called slerites in each segment that are joined to each other by a thin and flexible articular membrane. The head lies anteriorly at right angles to the longitudinal body axis and is triangular in shape. It is formed by the fusion of six segments and has a flexible neck. As a result, shows great mobility in all directions. A pair of compound eyes are present in the head capsule. Lying in front of the eyes are a pair of thread-like antennae that arise from membranous sockets. Sensory receptors are present in the antennae that help in monitoring the environment. Appendages are present in the anterior end of the head forming chewing and biting type of mouth parts. A labrum, a pair of mandibles, a pair of maxillae and a labium form the mouth parts of a cockroach. Within the cavity enclosed by the mouth parts is present a median flexible lobe acting as tongue. Thorax is divided into three parts, prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. With thorax, the head is connected by a short extension of a prothorax known as the neck. A pair of walking legs are present in each thoracic segment. From mesothorax, a first pair of wings arise and from metathorax arise the second pair. Opaque, dark and leathery are the four wings called tegmina and they cover the hind wings when at rest. Transparent and membranous are the hind wings and they are used in flight. Ten segments are present in the abdomen in both males and females. The seventh sternum in females is boat shaped and the eighth and ninth sterna together form a brood or genital pouch whose anterior part contains collateral glands, female gonopore and spermathecal pores. Genital pouch or chamber in males lies at the hind end of abdomen dorsally bounded by ninth and tenth terga and ninth sternum ventrally. It consists of dorsal anus, male genital pore ventrally and gonopophysis. A pair of short thread-like anal styles are present in males but are absent in females. The tenth segment in both sexes contain anal cirri which are a pair of jointed filament structures. Anatomy. In the body cavity is present the elementary canal and it is divided into three regions, foregut, midgut and hindgut. Into the short tubular pharynx opens the mouth leading to an esophagus which is a narrow tubular passage. Into a sac-like structure opens the esophagus called crop which is used for storing the food. The gizzard or proventriculus is connected to the crop. 
thick circular muscles form an outer layer and six highly chitinous plate like called teeth form the thick inner cuticle grinding of the food particles takes place in the gizzard cuticle lines the entire foregut at the junction of foregut and midgut a ring of 6 to 8 blind tubules called hepatic or gastric ck is present which secrete digestive juice another ring of 100 to 150 yellow colored thin filamentous malpighian tubules are present at the junction of midgut and hindgut excretory products from hemolymph are removed with the help of malpighian tubules the midgut is smaller than the hindgut which is broader and is differentiated into ileum colon and rectum the rectum opens out through anus a cockroach has an open type of blood vascular system they have poorly developed blood vessels and open into space in the hemocele are present the visceral organs and are bathed in blood colorless plasma and hemocytes are present in the hemolymph an elongated muscular tube is present in the heart of cockroach which lies along mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen with ostia on either side it is differentiated into funnel shaped chambers through the ostia blood from sinuses enter the heart and is pumped to sinuses again anteriorly a network of trachea are present in the respiratory system that opens through spiracles which are 10 pairs of small holes present on the lateral side of the body from the air to all the parts thin branching tubes carry oxygen the sphincters regulate the opening of the spiracles by diffusion the exchange of gases takes place at the tracheoles malpighian tubules perform excretion glandular and ciliated cells line each tubule nitrogenous waste products are absorbed by them and are converted into uric acid which is excreted out through the hindgut This insect is therefore called uricotelic. In addition, excretion is done by the fat body nephrocytes and uricose glands. A series of fused segmentally arranged ganglia joined by paired longitudinal connectives is present in the nervous system of cockroach on the ventral side. In the thorax lie the three ganglia and six in the abdomen. Throughout the body is spread the nervous system of cockroach. A bit of a nervous system is held by the head while along the ventral part of its body the rest is situated therefore a cockroach can still live for as long as one week if the head of it is cut off the brain is represented by supraesophageal ganglion in the head region which supplies nerves to the compound eyes and antennae antennae eyes maxillary palps labial palps anal cirri etc are the sense organs in the cockroach at the dorsal surface of the head the compound eyes are situated about 2000 hexagonal omatidia are present in each eye a cockroach can receive several images of an object with the help of several omatidia Mosaic vision is a kind of vision which has more sensitivity but less resolution being common during night. Well developed reproductive organs are present in both sexes and they are dioecious. In the fourth to sixth abdominal segments a pair of testes lying one on each lateral side in male reproductive system. A thin vasa difference arises from each testis which opens into ejaculatory duct through seminal vesicle into the male gonopore opens the ejaculatory duct which is situated ventral to anus in the 6th to 7th abdominal segments a characteristic mushroom shaped gland is present which functions as an accessory reproductive gland the male gonopophysis or phallomere represents the external genitalia in the seminal vesicles the sperms are stored and they form of 
bundles when glued together and called spermatophores which are discharged during copulation lying laterally in the second to sixth abdominal segments are the female reproductive system consisting of two large ovaries a group of eight ovarian tubules or ovarioles form an ovary containing a chain of developing ova a single median oviduct is formed when the oviducts of each ovary unite which opens into the genital chamber in the sixth segment a pair of sperma theca are present which opens into the genital chamber through spermatophores sperms are transferred encased in capsules are their fertilized eggs called utk about 3/8 inch long is the utica which is a reddish dark and blackish brown capsule to a suitable surface they are dropped or glued usually in a crevice or crack of high relative humidity near a food source females produce 9 to 10 utica on an average each containing 14 to 16 eggs Porometabolism is a type of development seen in Periplanata americana meaning there is development through nymphal stage the nymphs look very much like adults and to e reach the adult form the nymph grows by molting about 13 times only adult cockroaches have wings and wing pads are present in the next to last nymphal stage many species of cockroaches are of no economic importance as they are wild in and around human habitat a few species thrive because they destroy food and contaminate it with their smelly excreta they are considered as pests by contaminating food materials they can transmit a variety of bacterial diseases frog frog belongs to class amphibia of phylum chordata and can live both on land and in fresh water rana tigrina is the most common species of frog found in india a constant body temperature is not present in them that is temperature varies in their body with the temperature of the environment thus the animals are called poikilotherms or cold blooded while the frogs are in grasses and on dry land you might have also noticed changes in the color of the frogs to hide them from their enemies they have the ability to change the color this kind of protective coloration is called mimicry during peak summer and winter you may also know that the frogs are not seen to protect them from extreme heat and cold during this period they are, take shelter in deep burrows this is called summer sleep and winter sleep morphology due to the presence of mucus the skin on the frog is smooth and slippery the frog skin is always maintained in a moist condition on the dorsal side of the body the color or is generally olive green with dark irregular spots the skin is uniformly pale yellow on the ventral side the frog absorbs water through the skin but never drinks the water The frog's body is divisible into head and trunk. It does not have a neck and tail. A pair of nostrils are present above the mouth. The frog has bulged eyes and to protect them while in water the eyes are covered by a nictitating membrane. A membranous tympanum receives sound signals on either side of eyes. Activities like swimming, walking, leaping and burrowing is done by the fore limbs and hind limbs. Five digits are present in the hind limbs and they are larger and muscular than fore limbs that have four digits. The frog's feet have webbed digits that help in swimming. Sexual dimorphism is exhibited in frogs. A sound producing vocal sacs and also a copulatory pad on the first digit of the four limbs is present in the male frog while these are absent in the female frog. Anatomy. Different organ systems are accommodated in the body cavity of frogs such as digestive circulatory respiratory nervous excretory and reproductive systems with well developed structures and functions 
the elementary canal and digestive glands constitute the digestive system as the frogs are carnivores their elementary canal is short and hence the length of intestine is reduced the mouth opens into the buccal cavity that leads to the esophagus through pharynx into the stomach opens a short tube the esophagus which in turn continues as the intestine rectum and finally opens outside by the cloaca bile is secreted by the liver and is stored in the gall bladder pancreatic juice containing digestive enzymes is produced by the digestive gland the pancreas the bilobed tongue captures the food hcl and gastric juices secreted from the walls of the stomach bring about the digestion of food chyme the partially digested food passes from stomach to the first part of the intestine the duodenum bile from gall bladder and pancreatic juices from the pancreas is received by the duodenum through the common bile duct pancreatic juices digest carbohydrates and proteins while the bile emulsifies fat in the intestine the final digestion takes place the numerous finger like folds in the inner wall of intestine called villi and microvilli absorb the digested food the solid undigested waste moves out into rectum and passes out through cloaca frog respires by two different methods on land and in water skin acts as aquatic respiratory organ in water through the skin the dissolved oxygen in the water is exchanged by diffusion the buccal cavity skin and lungs act as the respiratory organs on land pulmonary respiration is the respiration by lungs present in the upper part of the trunk region are the lungs which are a pair of elongated pink colored sac like structures air enters into the buccal cavity through the nostrils and then to lungs gaseous exchange takes place through skin during estivation and hibernation a well developed closed type of the vascular system is present in the frog a lymphatic system is also present in frog heart blood vessels and blood constitutes the blood vascular system lymph lymph channels and lymph nodes constitutes the lymphatic system situated in the upper part of the body cavity is a muscular structure the heart The frog's heart has three chambers, two atria and one ventricle, and it is covered by a membrane, the pericardium. Sinus venosus, a triangular structure, joins the right atrium. The heart receives blood through vena cava, uh, the major veins. The ventricle opens into conus arteriosus, a sac-like structure on the ventral side of the heart. The arteries carry the blood from the heart to all parts of the body. The blood from different parts of the body is collected by the veins to the heart and forms the venous system. In frogs a special venous connection is present between liver and intestine as well as the kidney and the lower parts of the body. The former is called hepatic portal system and the latter is called renal portal system. the plasma and cells constitute the blood rbcs or erythrocytes or leukocytes and platelets are the blood cells a nucleus is present in rbcs and they also contain red colored pigment namely hemoglobin the lymph is different from blood the lymph lacks a few proteins and rbcs During the circulation the blood carries nutrients gases and water to the respective sites by the pumping action of the muscular heart the circulation of blood is achieved a well developed excretory system carries out the elimination of nitrogenous wastes from the body of the frog a pair of kidneys ureters cloaca and urinary bladder forms the excretory system situated a little posteriorly in the body cavity on both sides of vertebral column are the kidneys which are compact dark red and bean like structures each of the kidneys have several structural and functional units called uriniferous tubules or nephrons 
in the male frog two ureters emerge from the kidneys into the cloaca the ureters open which act as urinogenital duct the ureters and ov duct open separately into the cloaca in females ventral to the rectum a thin walled urinary bladder is present which also opens in the cloaca the frog is a ureotelic animal as it excretes urea excretory wastes are carried into the kidney by blood where it is separated and excreted in the frog the system for control and coordination is highly evolved it includes both endocrine gland and neural system hormones are secreted by the endocrine glands which bring about the chemical coordination of various organs of the body pituitary thyroid parathyroid thymus pineal body pancreatic islets adrenals and gonads are the prominent endocrine glands found in frog a central nervous system a peripheral nervous system and an autonomic nervous system are organized into the nervous system arising from the brain are the 10 pairs of cranial nerves brain box is a bony structure that encloses the brain the brain is divided into three parts namely forebrain midbrain and hindbrain olfactory lobes paired cerebral hemispheres and unpaired diencephalon constitute the forebrain a pair of optic lobes form the midbrain cerebellum and medulla oblongata constitute the hindbrain through the foramen magnum the medulla oblongata passes out and continues into spinal cord which is enclosed in the vertebral column organs of touch taste smell vision and hearing are the different types of sense organs in the frog out of these well organized structures are the eyes and internal ear ears while the rest are cellular aggregations around nerve endings a pair of spherical structures the eyes are situated in the orbit in skull in a frog these are simple eyes which possess only one unit the frog's external ear is absent and externally only tympanum can be seen the organ of hearing as well as balancing is the ear reproductive systems of both male and female frogs is well organized a pair of yellowish ovoid testes constitute the male reproductive organs which are attached to the upper part of kidneys by the double fold of peritoneum called meso mesorchium vas efferentia arise from testes and are 10 to 12 in number on their side they enter the kidneys and open into bidder's canal finally it communicates with the urinogenital ducts that comes out of the kidneys it opens to the cloaca fecal matter urine and sperms are passed to the exterior through the cloaca which is a small median chamber a pair of ovaries constitute the female reproductive system near kidneys the ovaries are situated and there is no functional connection with kidneys arising from the ovaries is a pair of ov duct that opens separately about 2500 to 3000 ova can be laid by a mature female frog at a time fertilization takes place in water and is external development involves a tadpole which is a larva to form the adult the tadpole undergoes metamorphosis frog eats insects and protects the crop and are hence beneficial to mankind ecological balance is maintained by frogs as a result in the ecosystem frogs serve as an important link of food chain and food web muscular legs of frog in some countries are used as food by man Please share this video with your friends. Leave your comments below and please subscribe to my channel for more content. Click the bell notification that would let you know when a new video is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, please subscribe to my channel for more content.